Is this a real or a fake gemstone? Go ahead and put your best guess in the comments and I'm gonna show you how a gemologist figures out what this is. This gem has a lovely pink color, so let's start testing. Since all gems bend light a little differently, we're gonna start with the refractometer to measure how this gem bends light. Going in, it looks like we're around a 1.76 or so, and that's too high for pink topaz and also too high for pink spinel. But it is what we wanna see for pink sapphire. Using polarized light, we're getting a weird blink along with rainbow-like interference colors. That means this is a crystal and we're looking down the crystal axis. Using the condensing sphere, we're getting an X or a uniaxial figure, which is another check mark for pink sapphire. Long wave UV light is giving us a very strong red reaction, so there's likely a lot of chromium in this gem. We can confirm that with the Chelsea filter as chromium rich gems appear red with this filter, and that's exactly what we're seeing. This is looking like pink sapphire, but we're definitely not done yet because we need to find out if this is natural or synthetic. So let's examine the inclusions. Now, this gem is extremely clean on the inside as most of these specks are just dust particles on the surface. I don't see any natural inclusions inclusions at all, but these two facets are very interesting. This facet has straight polished lines on the surface, but next to it, these lines look ever so slightly curved. These are internal curved lines, which means this crystal is synthetic and it came from a bool that looked a lot like this. And you can see exactly where those curved growth lines come from. And that means this is a synthetic pink sapphire. So did you get this one right?